You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. This past year has been a difficult one for everybody, but it's been tragically hard for those working and living in long-term health care. In my opinion, CNAs who worked through the pandemic, delivering skilled and compassionate care, risking their lives to care for others, are all heroes, and I have the deepest gratitude in my heart for them. As a society, we were unprepared, and we let you down in so many ways, but you all kept plugging away with the sparse resources you had for the residents. If you are a CNA watching this segment, thank you. We here at NACA see you and appreciate you. Last week's CNA Hero segment was about a 30 plus year CNA from New York. While I'm always so impressed and humbled by career nursing assistants and their dedication, it warms my heart to find young people who are passionate about their work as a CNA. They are truly the future for so many of us. They are the next generation of CNAs. This story will resonate with many of you as it did with me. Meet Delaney Partlow, a 17-year-old high school student and PCA or personal care aide from Orange, Vermont. This extraordinary young lady knew the risks of COVID and made the decision to work at a local nursing home anyway. Already a full-time high school student with a job at the local supermarket, Delaney sought out employment at a local nursing care facility after the onset of the pandemic. She was inspired to go into healthcare after visiting her grandmother at work as a child. Delaney's grandmother worked as a licensed nursing assistant, or LNA, a, a local nursing home for 30 years. Kudos to the grandmas out there. So Delaney, at the young age of 17, worked evenings feeding residents their dinner, answering the phone, and helping residents get ready for bed. Sadly, all but one of the facility's 32 residents ultimately came down with the virus, and so did more than a third of the staff. The facility, like all the others, went into lockdown. The facility was so short-staffed at one time, the health department gave six staff members permission to work anyway. Although Delaney didn't become infected herself, she recalls the widespread fear and uncertainty as being very stressful. She worried about the residents and also the possibility of taking the virus home and infecting her mother who's, whose immune system is compromised. But she continued working her shifts with confused residents, sick and not understanding that they needed to stay in their rooms and keep a mask on. Delaney would answer the phones to hear angry and frightened families inquiring about their loved ones. At the height of the viral pandemic, Delaney picked up extra shifts and worked weekends doing everything she could to help as a new PCA. From plating food for the residents to feeding them to repeatedly wiping down high touch surfaces at 17 years old, working through a historical pandemic. Of working on the front lines, Delaney stated, it's going to be unpredictable and it's going to be challenging. You have to prepare for the worst. Those are some wise words, especially for such a young age. Today, Delaney, because you took action when your community needed help, because you opened your heart to the residents 
and because you truly care for elders, we are recognizing you as a CNA hero.